director, James Hahn, and let's give a big hand. I'm so happy that um, JJ and Duncan and Richard are here uh, because um, fantastic people. This film is so valuable as a kind of primer for a mass population. This is, yes, the bottom line of your film, James. You have interwoven here really outstanding viewpoints of pioneers in the field who've been there for many, many years and realize this is a, a tapestry, a mosaic of all of us the rediscovering that we are not alone, but we are part of a greater family, plural, of life forms. We have the meetings with uh, so-called ET intelligence. I also include this to include um, ultra-terrestrial UT intelligence are so overbearing that uh, the psyche can be fragmented. And this is why it is necessary in some cultures to have a shaman or spiritual guide or um, a person of great sensitivity who can guide the person into the next stage of personal evaluation, personal understanding. We are in this process of interacting with cosmic intelligence, some call the cosmic others. And there are so many different levels and so many different scenarios that are possible. You need a real holistic grounding. And without that holistic grounding, you have mental vacuums. And at that citizens here in Washington, on the panel was Linda Walton Hall, who said something very outstanding. She mentioned a story conveyed to her regarding a U.S. Um, military officer who had a face-to-face -face encounter. And it, she said, to quote, it would be like a seven uh, feature films. 3D. In 3D in color, yeah. blasting away inside the brain. And I'm thinking back as she was saying that to a book written by the famous Cindy Sheldon called The Doomsday Conspiracy. Uh, I was the scientific consultant for that film, and that book actually wasn't made into a film. It was considered too far out, but that's a very fine book. It dealt with the life, uh, although this is fictionalized, of a U.S. naval intelligence officer in Switzerland who has this encounter with the ET, and Sydney used the expression of six levels of um, of information coming through. I thought that was quite significant because Sydney. Uh, Sidney Selwyn uh, did have some remarkable experiences and he was interested in bringing this book out for the public. To put it in a few words, uh, the whole definition of scientific truth is being challenged. A whole new ontology of the sciences and the is being forged. Is, yeah. Everything is up for grabs. Yeah. All right. And this is Richard's uh, great contribution to really see that there is a systematic control mechanism on some levels so that information does not get into the public commons. And we have to challenge that with better science, future science, and uh, consciousness reality. Well, that's what I'm saying. The consciousness has to shift if we're gonna accept these realities. And that means the definition of who we are has to shift because we're not just this linear being, we're multi-dimensional sense.